listen to praise or criticism, either one will make you weak. You know, that just, it hit, hit so close to home. Everybody around here telling me, oh, you're, you're a great fighter, you're this, you're that, and you have all the guys online, the, the keyboard warriors saying, oh, you suck, you, you know, you're horrible, you should never fight again. And you know what, people are always gonna hate you, people are always gonna praise you, but you know, to listen to them, you know, makes you weak, and it's just, it's so true. I had a tough fight with Kamal, where that, that decision, that draw was absolutely ridiculous, and uh, I got pretty hurt in that fight. I broke my hand, I busted up my foot, my, my ribs were busted. I had, I had a rough night, and then I had to turn around two months later and have to fight Donald Cerrone in his hometown, which, I mean, Donald, everybody knows Donald's just a tough guy. He's, he's, a, he's a tough fight for anybody. And uh, you know, that fight, it just, it just kind of weighed on me mentally, but I just would have liked to have maybe not have done that Donald fight, waited, had a little bit of time to rest up, and then fight that Shane Roller fight. Since uh, losing my job with Zufa, I took time away from the sport. I was able to kind of get away, get out of the limelight a little bit, and focus on me and figure out what was really important. And one of the greatest things um, that I've been able to do was outsource some of my training. Uh, I'm, I went back east for about five months, which was a great experience, and I was able to get away from the sport a little bit, but it showed me that I missed it. And it also showed me what I had at home. I missed my home, I missed my family, and I, missed, I did miss my friends, but I had to get away from all the distractions that come with being in your hometown and you know, just knowing everybody. You know, Don't get me wrong, like, my home is Arizona Combat Sports. This gym that we're in right now built me from the ground up. I was just a young wrestler, that knew how to box a little bit, and they turned me into a fighter, they turned me into a competitor, and they, they, built, they turned me into a man. Trevor Lally's been my coach the whole time, and he's been my friend, he's been my mentor, he's been my brother, he's even been my father at times, and he's also my coach. And, uh, you know, having him there, and then training at the lab in Glendale with one of the guys that, that took my title, with Ben Henderson, and uh, Efren Escudero, uh, this guy Kelly Oster, who's a great competitor, Chris Gritzmacher, I mean, there's so many great guys there, and combine those two, it's amazing. Edson Barbosa is probably one of the toughest guys out there. I mean, he's, he's definitely a top 10 lightweight, and he's fast, he's athletic, he's strong. He's, he's just good, he's good everywhere. He's got good defense, he's got great striking, hard kicks. I know walking into any fight, I can knock somebody out, and I can knock anybody out. Whether it's my left hand or my right hand, I got power in both hands, and that's, I was just blessed with that, and I, I'm lucky to have that, not many fighters do. And this guy's got that knockout power too. So it's, you know, neither one of us have ever been knocked out. Both of us have power. Uh, he's got good wrestling defense. I definitely see this turn into a stand-up war. Uh, I'm just hoping I come out on the winning on the winning side of the beatings.